Hey guys, what's going on? Castwag here. Today I'm going to be sh um, basically explaining on how to be quote unquote the best at Witch Doctors, since in my opinion they're pretty overpowered. Actually, they're probably the best class in the game. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> as you probably know, or as you can see from my other videos, I have two Witch Doctors. That's right, two Witch Doctors. One is, as you can see here, my main, my pet Witch Doctor. 1.4 million damage and 8.3 million toughness. Which is, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty freaking, it's uh, pretty awesome. And my other one, which is my Jade Witch Doctor, which I use for group plays, since it's, it's really good for group plays. But, that's not, the po that's not the point of this video. Today's video, I will be um, explaining on how to be the best at, and, you know, stomp T6. So, uh... This is more towards the um, best, the top gear in Witch Doctors, like best in slot gear, just looking for stat upgrades, basically, so kind of like what I have right here. I'm not going to say my gear is the best, but it is pretty significant. So, I'm the, what I'm going to show first off is my items. I'm going to use the uh, three piece Augils. Mask of Gem, Task of Theos. I'm already going to think that you already have these. These are the two items to boost up your damage uh, for a pet witch doctor. These two are the main items that you'll see pet witch doctors trying to get or already have. Maybe the, maybe the Thomas Finger and Star Metal, but the, I'll get into that later. We're using a Honda Vax. So now for the witch doctor, other classes you want crit chance, crit damage, and elemental damage. For the witch doctor, you want crit chance, crit damage, and attack speed. Why you want attack speed is you want to hit that um, 1.88 break mark. Right now I have 1.97, which is well over enough. You don't need this much. Yeah, since I got this, it boosted my attack speed significantly. Which I can uh, take off my gain speed pieces, so I don't really need that attack speed. Just to see how much I have. Yeah, 1.86. I um, probably want a little bit more than that. Anyway, back to the things. You want fetish army on both your... Uh, shoulders and chest piece. I'm not sure if they can roll on the offhand. I know it's zombie dog damage, but this one we're using a star metal build, so we're focusing on fetish damage. You want to stack fire skill damage. You only need it on the braces, because that's the only place you can actually get it. You can get it on the ami if you have enough of your stats that so you can sacrifice one of them, but I don't really recommend it. Using a tall man's finger to give us that big doggy. Let's say hello to the big doggy. There we go. We're using a unity along with my follower because I just love the unity combo. It just makes me so tanky, and I have to. I can skip some toughness to put it into damage. Now, the key to the build. Oh, okay, here we go. The star metal cookery. This one rolled pretty bad. I'm actually kind of disappointed in this one, but you know what you're gonna do. It's the best item. It's the best item hands down. Now, the only one that compares is the uh, where is it? My Renho Flare. That's the only one that actually comes close. It doesn't even come back close, to be honest. It's just not that good compared to the Star Metal Cookery. Now, you probably already have a Star Metal Cookery. That's uh, that's what I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna um, think that you already have a Star Metal Cookery. So, uh, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to have a Star Metal Cookery. You're gonna want to have a Task and Theos. Tall man's finger, depending on your toughness and ooh, copy and serpent to get that reduced damage reduction. You're gonna want at least 1.88 attack speed. That's what you're gonna want because you're gonna hit the break point for pets. You want at least 50 crit chance and you know 50 crit damage. Sadly, I don't have enough here. I have 58.5 crit chance and 47, uh, 470 crit damage. Yeah, not that good. I have to still get a little bit more on my haunted. I'll get 500, which is good. You want at least, um, what I like to hit as a Witch Doctor is 7,000 armor, and, uh, yeah. That's basically how much you really need, that's what I aim for. Um, resistances, you want at more than 1,000, that's just, that's, that's the bare minimum, at least more than 1,000. Life, you know, 450,000, that's the, that's the basic, that's, that's normal, that's average. I have set um, slightly low, but I use the Unity, so that's not a problem. So, the skill build, you're going to want to use Piranha, Piranado, Fetish Army, Tiki Torches, and Burning Dogs. I'm going a fire build here. Spirit Lock John, Big Bad Voodoo Slam Dance, Gargantuan Wrath Protector, Elite Killers, Midnight Feast to buff your zombie dog. Now you can use Jungle Fortitude, 
Um, I don't know, I usually run, actually I'm gonna run um, Zombie Dog Handler, I just changed this because I was trying out a group, uh, group strategy, didn't work so well actually. So yeah, I should use this too to buff your Zombie Dog using Pierce the Veil for the damage and Grave Adjuster to reduce the cooldown. So I'm going a little bit fast, I just want to make this quick, I want to make a quick video. So uh, yeah, this is the best, this is the best uh, build hands down to hit my items could get better. Um, ideal belt. I use a wishing hour. Some people might question that. Some people would actually say, "Oh no, the best, the best end game you know, belt is the uh, the uh, what do you call that? The uh, Harrington Waste Guard. That's the best belt ever." Actually, not really. Um, wishing hour has a built-in attack speed and crit damage, and um, you want attack speed. And I was lacking crit damage at that point. I had like 60 crit chance and like 400 crit damage. It was terrible. Like my pets were critting all the time, but they, you know, they wouldn't crit as high. Now they crit a little bit higher, which is kind of nice. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show it off. I'm just going to kill a boss. Um, I'm going to find a quick boss. Uh, boss anywhere? Give me a boss. Nope, okay, fine. I'm just going to go here. That's a good place. Small map. You know, easy to find some mobs. I have another video. Video explaining if you don't have a stomach cookery, I have a video already up on my channel that explains the Renho Flare build. In my opinion, it's the second best build, but not the best. As you can see, it's critting for about 47 mil, 56 mil. You see those little 10 mil ticks? That's from the pulse. It's a little 20% damage. That the fire dog. Well, as you can see, the, I don't. I. I don't really know what happened there, but apparently he just killed the boss. I wasn't really paying attention. I just saw his health drop uh, immensely. Yeah, let's see, see him go against a T6 trash mob. Close to one-shotting him. One-shotting him right there. That's that's pretty significant. Now let's go into this crypt. Hopefully we can find some elite packs. That's really what matters here. Okay, so what... Let's just skip this. Okay, here we go. We found a good pack. We want to go in it. What you're gonna wanna do is when you see a pack, cast Big Bad Voodoo, immediately cast your fetishes, group them up, and as you can see the f the cooldown is reduced whenever the fetishes deal damage. Now I tried the poison build, the fire build is just much better. It's just it's just the best. It just it's really good. Maybe if you don't have enough single target damage you can go for the poison build since the um the uh poison build um your zombie dog gains an effect just by dealing 30% weapon damage. Basically like a poison tick on a mob and it does stack so you'll deal a lot of damage. Yeah, this is T6 by the way. Don't get confused with, you know, T1 because that's basically what I make it look like. Um, this probably is the best build, hands down. So if you're looking for the, you know, crushing T6 solo, you know, I'm gonna get 8 to, you know, 6 to 8 minute clear times on rifts, this is the build. This is the build. Yeah, I hope I I hope I explained this enough. Let's keep it back to town. Okay, now let me um get into something I did not explain. What I would like to um change is I would like to get a hexing pants of Mr. Yan. If you do not know what that does, it gives you a 25% uh, damage increase and resource regeneration increase while you're moving. So, with the stop right quick read, as you can see, I don't have any, um, any, uh, what do you call that? Um, sig uh, what do you call those? These ones, the signature spells, sorry. I don't, I don't use any of them because I don't need them. I get all my damage from my fetishes, my big bad voodoo, which is up all the time, and my summon zombie dog, which deals all my damage. So what I do is I basically walk around, oh, see it, let's just see, you know, pretend that I see a pack over here, a pack over here, you go, uh, summon fetishes, oh, okay, here, group them up, fetishes deal the damage, blah, 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 we set both of them, and then you go on to the next pack, and you, you know, do the combo again. This is the best build, since you're always going to be in big bad voodoo, my damage might as well be, you know, too Two millions is what, it, which is what it is in Big Bad Voodoo. So you would want to get Hexen Pants, Mr. Yan, and Ice Climbers to get immunity to Frozen, just because you know that's the best build, that's the best boots, if it's not a set boots. Um, yeah, some people opt to run the Royal Ring of Grandeur, which 
is it's not that good. Uh, I tested out using the four P Zunis. It's not. It's it's terrible. In all honesty, it's really really bad. If you want to go the poison build, you can use these swampland waters or waders or something like that, which increases poison damage. Personally, poison damage is better with the Red Hole Flare. I have a video up there if you want to see it. Basically, a poison build with the Red Hole Flare. It's like the second best build in the game. It t it's also T6 viable, but this is just the best build. I can probably do T7, T8. If you want a uh, good, uh, excuse me, comparison on the ladders, I uh, I got up to Rift level 28, I think. I cleared 28, and I just couldn't clear the Rift Guardian because he killed all my pets instantly. So uh, yeah, if you like this build, I'll leave my stats up there. If you like this uh, guide, like like the video, subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you guys later.